Hi, my name is Ubi, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through updating Stable Diffusion's web GUI by Automatic 11.11 to the latest version using Git on Windows. Now, this video will be a Windows specific video. The nuts and bolts of using Git to update the uh, web GUI is going to be the same across all platforms, but the specific steps here will be taken using either Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now, Stable Diffusion's uh, web GUI by Automatic 11.11 obviously is a very powerful software. It's constantly being developed and it's changing at a fast pace. So updating to the latest version is going to allow you to use the newest features and improvements immediately. And I know what you might be thinking. Ubi, why would I bother updating things when they seem to be working just fine? Well, updating is important not just for new features, but also for bug fixes. Now, full disclosure, the pace at which uh, specifically the web GUI from Automatic 11.11 is being updated does mean that sometimes bugs do get introduced and features may be um, added in that aren't working completely correctly at a particular given time. So that is a little bit of a caveat, but if you stay updated to the newest version, those bug fixes, which fix those issues, will also work their way through the system. So it is kind of one of those things where you might decide, hey, I don't really want to update, but you will be depriving yourself of any of the new features and innovations that come through. It's just one of the realities of life when you're using a cutting edge, or in this case, probably even a bleeding edge uh, bit of software. Now, I know that some of the terms and, and uh, things that I'm going to be going through are kind of technical, and uh, a lot of us who use the software are maybe a little bit more artistic and may not have as much technical knowledge. Don't worry, though. Uh, I will explain everything in the technical terms first, and then we'll use more simple terms and analogies and light so that we'll understand exactly what's going on. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is open a command prompt in the folder where Stable Diffusion is installed. So uh, as you see here, we have our folder, the Stable Diffusion Web UI, uh, already opened up on the screen. And uh, to open a command prompt for this specific folder, there's lots of ways to do it. Literally the easiest though is just right click anywhere inside of this folder, select Open in Terminal, and it'll open a command prompt right there in that folder. Now that we have the command prompt open, let's check out what branch we're currently on. To do that, we're going to use the following command, and that's going to be git branch. In this case, we're on the master branch. Now, what it's going to do is, theoretically, if this particular repo had a bunch of different branches available, it would show all of them. The important thing, though, is it uh, that where it says master and has the star here indicates that we're on the master branch. If you have anything other than this, what we're going to you need to do is we're going to need to make sure that we are on the master branch. So what you want to do for that would be git checkout master. In our case, we are already on master. But if yours was, for example, not on the master branch, this would actually set that on there. Now that we know that we're on the master branch, let's check what remote repository we're actually connected to. There was a short period of time where the repository for Automatic 11.11 was unavailable because the repository was banned on GitHub. And during that time period, a backup repository was used. Uh, unfortunately, that there were a lot of people who jumped to that to be able to, to update the Stable Diffusion software. But the repository on GitHub was, was put back into service. And that is the current official repository. And those people who changed their repository over to the backup repository may still be on that repository right now. And that's a problem in that that particular repository is not being kept up to date. So what you want to do is to find out what repository that we're on, you use the command git remote tech v or minus v. 
and that's going to tell you which origin that you're on. It should be the one that you see there, which is github.com slash automatic 1111 slash stable dash diffusion dash web UI dot git. If you see anything else in there, anything about a git good or any other repository, that's going to indicate that you're not on the correct um, repository. And that's what we will uh, show now how to fix. Now, in order to make the Git repository be pointed to the correct origin, we will use the following command. Now, don't worry too much about uh, this particular command here. I will make sure that this is down in the description so that you can copy and paste it. But we're going to go ahead and do it uh, directly into this uh, the same command prompt window that we're using. And that command is git remote set dash URL origin. And then the URL that we have up there, which is HTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash automatic 1111 slash stable dash diffusion dash web UI dot get. Again, don't worry about necessarily uh, typing that out unless you're a speed typist. And if you are, go right ahead. Uh, I'll have that down in the description for you to copy and paste it. So when you if you put that command in and hit enter, uh, you will not get any sort of response back from it. You will, as you see here, just get the prompt back. So to make sure we've got the right one, we'll do git remote tech v. And for mine, since I already was on the, the, correct, uh, the correct origin, mine hasn't changed, but yours should. You should now see origin with the correct URL in there. And there we go. You're connected now to the correct remote repository for uh, automatic 1111 for stable diffusion. And now that we know we're connected to the correct remote repository, we can use git pull to update Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 to the latest version. But if you wanted to check and make sure that you are on the latest commit or not on the latest commit, there are two commands that we can use to find out if this is the situation or not. The first one is git fetch. The second one is git status. That first command, git fetch, will go out and download the latest changes from our remote repository. Now, it's not going to apply them yet, but it will go ahead and download them. So that's the first step in checking if we're on, there are any new commits available. Once that's done, if it does download anything, you'll see it on the screen there. In this particular case, this version of Stable Diffusion, which is my main version, is currently up to date. So it didn't download anything. The next step, though, is get status. Now, what get status will do is it will give you the current status of your repository. Now, the ones down here with the reds, changes not staged for commit and untracked files, these are files that have been changed uh, from the, the version of uh, Automatic 11.11 that was downloaded, or files that were added into these folders. In this case, the uh, models put stable diffusion checkpoints here. Text is one of the files that gets downloaded with it that I have deleted from mine. Uh, obviously, the web use, UI user.bat is another file that I've modified. These are files that are supposed to be done that way. We can safely ignore these, these two files here. And additionally, untracked files are things like masks that have been created, some other uh, things that have been installed via scripts and via installation of other things such as extensions. The untracked files we also will not worry about. What we are worried about is the things that happen directly after the get status command in. In this particular case, it says that we're on the branch of master, which is where we want to be, and your branch is up to date with the origin master. If you see that line, your branch is up to date with origin master, that means that you currently have the most recent version, the most recent commit that was that made for automatic 11.11. That means that you are completely up to date. Now, in this particular case, I happen to have a version that is out of date on purpose. And you'll see here that I've already given it the get fetch command. And it has actually gone through the process of downloading all the, the commits that were created uh, past the point where I had updated this particular version. So now if I do a get status on this one, see the same sort of things in here that we had before, but the most important one here is we're on the branch master, but it says your branch is behind origin master 
by 405 commits and can be fast forwarded. Use git pull to update your local branch. If you get this message right here, that means that your version is out of date and then you can then update it. To update it, you do exactly what it says there, which is give it the command of git pull. And in doing so, you will see that it goes through a bunch of things and suddenly, voila, we are on the current version, which you can do a git status again. And you'll see it says your branch is up to date with Origin Master. Now back here on the version that is currently up to date, if we do a git pull, it's going to tell us that you're already up to date. So that is another way that you can tell that you are up to date or not and what you need to do to fix it. Now, if you've modified any files in your stable diffusion automatic 11, 11 uh, install, Git may not allow you to pull the latest commit until you've dealt with those changes. Now, this may come about if you have followed other people's tutorials that, for example, may have instructed you to make changes to your web UI.bat, um, or have maybe you've gone in and tinkered with some of the files yourselves trying to do things maybe that you been told to do, or maybe things that you were just trying to do on your own. Regardless of how you've gotten there, it is possible that when you do a git pull, you may get an error like this, where it says, error your local changes to the following files will be overwritten by a merge. In my case, I have purposefully made a change to the web UI.bat so that we would get this particular error message. And what it tells you is, please commit your changes or stash them before you merge, aborting and you find yourself here and you have not been able to update your version of automatic 11.11. Now, there are two ways to do it with it. If you wanted to keep the changes to the files, you'll need to commit them to your local repository or stash them temporarily. This is going to be the case if, for example, maybe you are a developer who was trying to make additions to uh, automatic 11.11, or maybe you're trying to fix some bugs. For most of us, that's not something we're going to do. And so if you were doing those things, you probably already know how to deal with committing your changes, so we won't go into that in this video. However, if you're like most people, you just want to update to the current version of Automatic 11.11. What you can do then is overwrite your files with the latest commit. Now, as I said before, this will overwrite any of these changes that you had in there. So if they were put in place to maybe fix something or to make another piece of software work correctly, this might cause issues with that. However, what you need to do if you do want to move forward and update everything to the most current version is you need to run the following command, which is git reset minus minus hard space head, capital H-E-A-D. Again, I'll put this uh, command in its entirety in the description down there so you can copy and paste it instead of typing it out. But in doing so, what it will do is overwrite all of your local changes and restore you to the state that your repository in the last time that you pulled uh, down from the official repository. And again, this is only going to, you would only use this command if you're okay with permanently deleting all those changes. But if it is done correctly, you'll get a message, something similar to head is now at, and will give you a, a, a commit that will tell you uh, where it's at. And then once that's done, you should be able to do a git pull. And it will then fully update your version of automatic 11.11 to the current version. And that's all there is to updating your version of automatic 11.11 to the current version. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just leave them in the comments below. And note that uh, automatic 11.11 changes happen rather often. So some of the information on the screens that I've just showed you will not match exactly with your experiences. For example, the commit names are almost certainly going to be different by the time that you're viewing this, but the important messages themselves will remain the same. So don't let the uh, any of the bits like that confuse you. I have uh, told you the specific messages you should be looking out for, so you should be able to use that as a guide to where you are in the process of updating. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.